In microservices architecture, managing communication, security, and monitoring can be challenging. The sidecar pattern addresses these by offloading such tasks to a helper component running alongside your main service. But what exactly is the sidecar pattern? How does it work? And why is it gaining popularity? Let's check it out. The term sidecar is inspired by motorcycle sidecars, which are attached to the side of motorcycle. They are independent units, but still rely on the motorcycle for movement. In software architecture, the sidecar pattern is design approach where a separate co-located component called a sidecar is deployed alongside the main service. The sidecar is responsible for handling non-business logic tasks such as logging, monitoring, service discovery, or even routing traffic. Think of the sidecar as a helper process that sits beside your main service, sharing the same lifecycle and resources. Imagine you have a microservice responsible for processing orders in an e-commerce application. This service needs features like logging, service discovery, and metrics tracking. Traditionally, you might add these features directly into the service code, but this creates complexity and mixes business logic with infrastructure concerns. With the sidecar pattern, you offload these tasks to a separate component running as a sidecar container or process. The order processing service can now focus purely on its core logic handling orders, while the sidecar handles the rest. For example, the sidecar could act as a logging agent where it forwards logs to a centralized system. It could monitor the application's performance and send metrics. It could also retrieve secrets such as API keys or database credentials. In fact, in a service mesh architecture, a sidecar container like Istio manages network traffic, load balancing, and inter-service communication. The sidecar runs in the same pod or machine as the main service, but they communicate over a local network. The sidecar's independence allows you to manage it separately, update, deploy, and scale it without affecting the main service. The sidecar cleanly separates non-business logic from your core service, and this makes your application code simpler and more focused. The sidecar can be built in a different language or framework, and it can be scaled separately based on demand. For example, you might need more instances of the sidecar for tasks like monitoring under heavy load without affecting the core service's performance. And by using sidecars across multiple services, you create a standardized approach to handle cross-cutting concerns like security, observability, and communication. Imagine a microservice responsible for user authentication in an e-commerce application. Alongside this service, you run a sidecar container for handling logging and tracing. The authentication service processes user logins, and each time a login request is handled, the sidecar captures the detailed logs and traces for that request. So, the main service, the user authentication service, processes the login request, whereas the sidecar intercepts incoming requests, extracts metadata, and forwards the log to a centralized logging system like Elk or Splunk. Additionally, the sidecar generates distributed traces to monitor request flows, helping to identify bottlenecks or failures. The step improves the visibility into your service's behavior without cluttering your core service code with infrastructure-specific logic. The sidecar pattern is a core component of service mesh architecture. A service mesh is a dedicated infrastructure layer for handling communication between microservices. In a microservices architecture, different services need to talk to each other over the network, but managing this communication can become complex as the number of services grows. A service mesh simplifies by taking care of key features like traffic management, such as routing and load balancing between services, or enforcing secure communication with mutual TLS, authentication, and authorization. It also collects metrics, logging, and tracing service-to-service -service communication, and also handling retries, circuit breaking, and failover to improve service reliability. So in a service mesh architecture, each microservice typically runs along a sidecar proxy in the same pod or instance. The sidecar proxy, like Envoy used by Istio, handles all inbound and outbound traffic for the microservice. It intercepts and controls the communication between microservices without requiring any changes to the service code. The service mesh also includes a control plane, which is a logical division that is responsible for the management and configuration for all sidecar proxies. The control plane manages the policies, configurations, and monitoring. The data plane consists of the sidecar proxies that actually handle the traffic between services according to the rules set by the control plane. And when a service wants to communicate with another service, instead of talking directly to it, the request goes through its local sidecar proxy. 
The sidecar handles things like load balancing, retries or routing based on the rules provided by the control plane. Imagine two services, service A and service B in a service mesh. Each service has its own sidecar proxy. Service A sends a request to service B. The request from service A goes first to its own sidecar proxy. The sidecar checks the routing rules, applies security policies and then forwards the request to service B's sidecar. Service B's sidecar intercepts the request, checks for any security rules like authentication and then passes the request to service B. The response from service B follows the same path back through both sidecars. With a service mesh, you don't need to worry about networking or security code within your services. The sidecast manages all the complexities and the service mesh controller handles their coordination. Now, you might also have heard about ambassador pattern, which is often compared to sidecar pattern. Now, while they are related, there is a key difference. The sidecar pattern co-locates a helper process with your main service to manage cross-cutting concerns. Whereas the ambassador pattern places a proxy or a gateway in front of your service to handle communications with external systems. In simpler terms, sidecars are helpers working within your environment, while ambassadors are gatekeepers that interface with the outside world. Now, while the sidecar patterns offer several advantages, it is not without its challenges. Running multiple sidecars in fact increases resource consumption, which can be significant in large scale deployments. It also requires managing and updating sidecars and can add complexity. Furthermore, the extra communication hops between the main service and the sidecar can introduce latency. The sidecar pattern is a powerful solution for managing cross-cutting concerns and distributed systems. Whether you are dealing with the service discovery, observability, security or networking, sidecars provide a clean separation of responsibilities, allowing your main service to focus solely on business logic.